tonight, there's an open heaven that begins to, begin to start opening up. And as you worship, angels are being set loose into your situation. Angels, angels of healing, ministering spirits sent to those who believe. Sent to those who believe. The children on drugs don't have the final word tonight. Pain in your body and the opioids don't have the final word tonight. But tonight, like Paul and Silas, if you feel like all you've been doing all the right things, even if you feel like you've been doing the 
wrong things. And the wrong things are happening. Your worship can precede your miracle. The Bible says, and at midnight, Paul and Silas, while they were chained up, while they were in the sewers, while they were beaten, and at midnight, they weren't distressed. They weren't falling into hopelessness. They weren't complaining. They weren't whining. They weren't destitute. And at midnight, because greater is he that is in you than he that's in the world, they begin to praise, open their mouth and worship. And as they worship, the Bible says the ground began to shake. As they worship, shackles were set free. As they worship, every prison door was open. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me tonight. He's upon you tonight to set captives free. The, come on, the, the oil of joy for morning. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Come on, to set free those who are bound. Come on, to bring good news out of Zion. Because tonight, the Father looks at you like trees of righteousness. Not only will you be raised up, but you're going to raise up other people around you for the goodness of God. But it all starts by finding freedom through worship.